Kelly Rizzo with Lap Live TV coming at you live from Joe's Bar in Chicago for the Jared Neiman concert. As you can see, we have a insane crowd behind me for the show, but I want to tell all you Twitter followers out there, make sure you tweet Jared tonight at JRod from Oz, hashtag JRod Live, and tell him the craziest places that you're watching this show from tonight. Now, fortunately, I had a chance earlier today to sit down with Jared and interview him. I asked him some really cool questions. You can check out the interview right now. Hello, everyone. Kelly Rizzo here with Lap Live TV, and I am at the famous Joe's Bar before the Jared Neiman concert, and I'm lucky enough to have Jared sitting here with me. Welcome, Jared. Well, thank you for, uh, for having me today. Absolutely. Now, you've played at Joe's before. I've seen you play here before. Last spring, I believe it was. It was an amazing show, but today is a little bit different, a little bit special. It is your first time streaming your show live, using Lap Live TV, of course, to your fans around the world. So why is that so important to you? Well, you know, Joe's Bar is one of our favorite places to play, and, and unfortunately, you know, not everybody gets to, to travel around and be in this wonderful place, so we thought we just would take Joe's Bar to them. Your last album, Judge Jared and the Hung Jury, was a huge success and now you've just released your latest album free the music now i've got to ask you do you feel a little bit of pressure to live up to the success of your last album now i learned a long time ago that uh you know in this business you don't really try to top what you've done you just try to add to what you've done and, and uh, in this case free the music there's really no pressure because i wanted to make the music with the people that i uh, enjoy making music with and and that's kind of what came out yeah, and it's gotten a lot of critical praise so far, and it says it's very genre-breaking, and you haven't really limited yourself to a certain type of sound, and so it's gotten a lot of really good press. And so do you have anything to say about, you know, having the music be a little bit different this time? Yeah, you know, we just tried to uh, do everything unconventional. You know, we did the first album that way. And so on this one, we, uh, we wanted to add horns. You know, horns have been in country music even before the pedal steel guitar. Right. So uh, we were excited to... to pay honor and homage to, to all eras of country music and uh, so we actually brought the horn section here tonight. Now I sat down with a very good friend of yours just a few weeks ago we had a great chat fellow songwriter as well Lee Bryce and I asked Lee I said what is your favorite song that you've ever written for another artist or for somebody else to perform and he said only God Could Love You More, that he wrote with you. I want to know how that came about, how you collaborated with Lee on that song, and what the backstory is to that song. Well, we also wrote it with John Stone, and we were at Lee, Lee Bryce's house for a cookout, and John leaned over and said, man, I have an idea for a song called Only God Could Love You More. And I was floored by the idea. I thought, wow, what a beautiful thought, you know, to, to say to somebody. So we actually wrote the song there, and then we didn't even talk about it for about a month, and I realized that we may have not written it correctly or we'd be talking about it all the time. So we went back and wrote it a second time. It's uh, one of those songs that it, it starts out you're excited about it anytime you write a song, but when you get on stage and people feel like they connect with it, then the song becomes more important to you. So that feels like one of those songs that, um, that hopefully everyone will continue to uh, gravitate towards. You're in the midst of the Jägermeister Presents tour, which has 200 dates over the next year. How do you prepare for a tour of that magnitude and like what's your mindset like when you're in the midst of all those shows? Well Jägermeister has been a friend of the family for a long time so uh, <laughs> it's basically just ha that. it's basically just like having a, a family member on the road with you but they happen to live in the freezer instead <laughs> of uh, in the bunk. So, so no it's, it's been great and, and you know we kind of cut our teeth in honky tonks and, and, and the bars across the country so it's fun to go back and play some of our favorite places and also uh, be drinking lots of Jägermeister. Now, Joe's has an amazing reputation on the country circuit. It's an incredible venue, and also with its ties with US 99, and it's just everyone loves to play here. Why do you love playing at Joe's so much? Well, I think it also, it's not just a, you know, four walls and a ceiling and a, and a bunch of speakers. It's, it's a great place also because Chicago is a hub for, for retail, and, and, and it's easy flight from Nashville. So, you know, everybody, you know, record label, management, everybody seems to come, and, and this is it's just sort of like the, the hangout. It's the meeting place. You've been in Nashville a long time, but you're from Kansas, is that right? So how did you foster such strong country roots, being from Kansas, that then enabled you to get to Nashville? Well, I grew up in a town <clears throat> about three hours from an airport. So it's, it was very easy to, you know, just open the door and you can, I mean, it's so flat and barren where I grew up that you can actually see into Oklahoma 
20 miles away where my mom grew up. You can see the grain bin. And so, oh obviously, I loved music my whole life, but, but growing up in a small town, you just see you see the country it's just part of your life whether you want it to be or not so it's just easy to gravitate towards towards country music and of course um my grandparents loved it too and, and uh man i just always you know i heard a quote a long time ago and i wish i came up with it but <laughs> wasn't mine but it said you know we don't choose music music chooses us nice and so you know wherever you're at in the world it, it just sort of uh you know once it gets a hold of you, there's no no cure. So um, Nashville is always just a place place I wanted to be. And the first time I ever drove there, I remember I had man just butterflies in my stomach and everything. Thanks everybody for tuning in. We're gonna have a good time tonight. We're gonna get wild. We have a special guest here that we'll be introducing later in the show. And so uh, pull up your six pack and let's get this party started. Let's get the party started. We are all very excited. We will see you all out there during the show and we will see you on stage, Jared. Thanks so much. Keep it rural. Thanks. All right, everyone, we are back again with two of Jared Neiman's biggest fans, right, ladies? Woo! We yes! got it, Jared! All right, their names are Amy and Amy. We've got Amy Squared here with you. Now, I want to ask, who's the bigger Jared Neiman fan? Amy is. Obviously, me. No, Amy is. this Amy, <laughs> not that Amy, the other Amy. Amy always wins. All right, so Amy is the bigger Jared fan. What do you love so much about Jared Neiman? Ah, uh, lover, lo I won't sing, I can't sing. I'm I gonna ask it. you to sing. Shining on me, windows down, top back, way to go. It's awesome. the hat, the hat, so sexy. Sorry. It's a sexy hat, it's Not a sexy him. hat. I did. All right, so then your favorite song is Shine On Me, what's your favorite song? Lover, lover, lover. All right, you gotta sing a little bit for me, come on. Oh my God. Do it, come on. I'll oh, do it with you. Okay, right, ready? One, two, three. Lover, lover, lover. You don't treat me no good no more. You don't treat me no. Okay, we're not doing back up. <laughs> These girls are awesome. All right, girls, what are you what are you most excited about for the show right now? Oh my God, you should see just him. Just see him. Oh my God, I'm we're stage, so close, guitar, at, love it. Yeah, he's a cutie. You got some good seats here too, right? Oh yeah, we're we're front row, right there. We're getting okay. best a right. best well, I think. <laughs> All right, I think you guys are the most excited fans here. Thank you so much for chatting with me. You enjoy the show, ladies, and you all out there enjoy the show as well. See you later.